Can you be a photographer if no one sees your work? A question that may seem paradoxical, yet it stirs a profound discussion about the very nature of photography. Is it the act of capturing a moment, or is it the sharing and reception of that moment that truly defines a photographer? Consider the intriguing case of Vivian Mayer, a woman who spent most of her life working as a nanny. Unbeknownst to many, she was also a prolific photographer, snapping over 100,000 photographs throughout her lifetime. Yet the vast majority of these images remained unseen by others during her life. They were her secret, her private collection of moments in time, hidden away in storage lockers, undeveloped film rolls and dusty boxes. So, does this make Vivian less of a photographer? If we define a photographer only by their public exposure, the answer might be yes. But if we delve deeper, if we consider the act of photography itself, the answer is not so clear-cut. Photography, at its core, is an act of observation. It's a way of seeing the world, capturing fleeting moments, immortalizing them in a frame. It's the intimate interaction between the photographer and the subject, a silent conversation that transcends time and space. This interaction, this observation, existed in every frame Vivian Meyer captured, irrespective of whether anyone else ever saw them or not. In this light, Vivian Mayer was indeed a photographer, perhaps one of the most dedicated and prolific of her time. Her work, even though unseen, was a testament to her keen eye, her unique perspective, and her undeniable passion for photography. Yet, the paradox persists. The question remains, can you be a photographer if no one sees your work? And this paradox, this question, leads us to delve deeper into the life and work of Vivian Meyer, the nanny-turned-clandestine photographer. But who was Vivian Meyer and how did her work remain hidden for so long? The answers to these questions reveal a fascinating narrative, a journey into the enigmatic life of a woman who saw the world through her lens, yet chose to keep her observations to herself. Vivian Meyer, a nanny by profession, was a prolific photographer whose work was unknown during her lifetime. Born in New York in the 1920s, Vivian spent her formative years in France where she developed a keen eye for life's everyday moments. Her passion for capturing these fleeting instances led her back to the United States, where she became a nanny in Chicago. But Vivian wasn't just any nanny. She was a nanny with a Roliflex camera perpetually slung around her neck, a silent observer capturing the world around her. In the bustling city streets, in the quiet parks, in the glowing windows of towering buildings, Vivian saw stories waiting to be told. She was an artist of the unnoticed, her lens revealing the extraordinary and the ordinary. Yet, the world remained oblivious to her talent, as Vivian kept her art a secret, never showcasing her photographs, never seeking recognition. From the 1950s to the 1990s, Vivian took over 100,000 photographs, her subjects varying from the faces of the working class to the playful innocence of children, from the stark realities of poverty to the grandeur of Chicago's architecture. Every snapshot, a testament to her remarkable ability to immortalize the ephemeral. But these photos, negatives and undeveloped film rolls were never shared, never exhibited. Instead they filled up storage lockers gathering dust in the dark. Vivian Meyer, the woman behind the viewfinder, remained an enigma. Her life was as private as the photos she took, her talent as hidden as the negatives she stored away. So why did she choose to keep her work unseen? Was it the fear of judgment? Or was it the satisfaction of creating for creation's sake? We may never truly know. Vivian Mayer, the nanny with a rolly flex, left behind a legacy of unseen art, raising poignant questions about the essence of being an artist, a photographer. Vivian Mayer's work remained hidden until after her death, when it was discovered by accident. A true treasure trove of photographic brilliance lay dormant, obscured in the confines of forgotten boxes. Unearthed by John Maloof, a local historian with an eye for the forgotten, these boxes were an accidental find at an auction. Little did Maloof know, he had just stumbled upon a secret world of one of the most prolific clandestine photographers of our time. Maloof's discovery was momentous, an astounding 150,000 negatives, undeveloped rolls of film and countless contact sheets were found. This was not a casual hobby but an all-consuming passion. Vivian Meyer had been silently documenting the world around her, capturing the ebb and flow of life with her lens, but never sharing it with anyone. Maloof, captivated by the depth and breadth of Meyer's work, made it his mission to bring her art into the light. He painstakingly developed the roles, digitized the negatives, and began to share her work with the world. As the images found their way to the public eye, 
they were met with awe and wonder. Vivian Meyer, the reclusive nanny, was posthumously recognized as an extraordinary street photographer. Her work lauded for its raw, unfiltered depiction of life. Yet, this discovery also raised profound questions about the nature of art and the role of the artist. Meyer had created her work in solitude without the intent of public exposure. Does the act of creation alone qualify one as an artist or is public recognition a prerequisite? Does the artist's intent matter or is it the audience's reception that defines art? Vivian Mayer's work was finally seen, but does this make her a photographer? This question lingers as we delve deeper into the paradox of Vivian Meyer, the clandestine photographer whose work remained unseen until after her death, sparking a conversation that extends far beyond the realm of photography. Vivian Mayer's life presents a paradox that challenges our understanding of what it means to be a photographer. This statement encapsulates the enigma that was Vivian Mayer, on the surface, a nanny, but beneath the mundane, a passionate and prolific photographer. Her life was a dichotomy, a stark contrast between her ordinary day job and her extraordinary hidden passion. The secrecy surrounding Meyer's work adds another layer to the paradox. Her photographs, thousands of them, remained unseen, locked away from the world. She shared her work with no one, not even those closest to her. It begs the question, is one truly a photographer if no one sees the work? Can an artist exist in isolation? without an audience to appreciate their art. This brings us to the irony of Meyer's posthumous recognition. It was only after her demise that her talent was discovered, her work appreciated. The world came to know of this clandestine photographer and marveled at her work. She was celebrated as one of the finest street photographers of her time, but she never lived to see her recognition. It's almost as if her audience found her, rather than the other way around. But perhaps the most profound aspect of this paradox is what it suggests about the essence of being a photographer. Meyer's life and work tell us that the act of creating, of capturing moments through a lens, is not necessarily tied to the validation of an audience. She saw the world as a photographer, framing and freezing moments in time, regardless of whether anyone else would ever see them. Vivian Meyer's life and work challenge us to rethink our definitions of art and artist. In the end, perhaps the question is not whether you can be a photographer if no one sees your work, but whether you can stop yourself from seeing the world as a photographer, even if no one else does. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.